Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday and Bunky and I just kind of want to go to the grocery store, do some meal prepping and just get us ready for the week. We're actually leaving on Thursday to go to the beach. So we kind of have a short week and actually tomorrow is Bunky's birthday. So you guys will have to leave a comment and wish him a happy birthday. But today we're just going to go do some grocery shopping. Whenever I get back, I'll show you guys our haul and then we're going to do some meal prepping for the week so that we have some lunches and snacks and things for breakfast. So we're gonna go ahead and do grocery shopping now and then when we get back, I'll show you guys what we got. And if this is your first time here, I'm so glad that you're here. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So be sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you guys are enjoying these meal prepping videos, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get going. So a lot of you probably remember whenever I told you I was looking for the lean pepper and I can never say that right um, steak sauce and then I saw this Heinz 57 that is made with a lean pepper so I'm gonna have to try that um, I of course just got the A1 on this day but I'm definitely gonna have to try that one and I also want to mention so many times whenever I'm doing grocery hauls y'all will say it's about one going free but you only got one that's because I don't know where you guys are but at our grocery stores if it's about one going free you just get it for half price if you only get one so a lot of times I'll just get the one if that's all that we need Okay, so here is kind of an overview of everything that we got, and I'll just start over here. I think I've told y'all before, but I love these little like mini rice cakes, and I love the cheddar. Like that is my favorite, and they were on sale, so I got two bags, and we opened this one on the way home. And then I also picked up these little Stone Fire. You guys know we love this brand. Um, this is like their non-dippers. So I'm actually gonna brush these with olive oil and lots of spices and bake them, and then use these to eat some hummus with. I'm super excited. I've done it one other time. They were so good. And then I picked up these jumbo shells because we're gonna have stuffed shells this week for dinner and then some of this bow tie pasta funky wanted this great grains crunchy pecan cereal that was an impulse purchase so i've never had it before okay well hopefully it'll be good and then um i also got this granola i'm gonna try and start having more like greek yogurt and um fruit and granola in the morning so i got some of that then we got some blueberries raspberries blackberries and strawberries <laughs> we got all the berries and then um a little bag of carrots we got some mozzarella we're gonna grate some hamburger meat and then bunky wanted this roasted red pepper hummus even though we already have another hummus but that's okay you're, you're gonna hit this one to work yeah okay and then um we got some mayonnaise it was on sale some a1 I love some a1 steak sauce and then we got some celery an apple which I accidentally what, where is it? Right there. I dropped it in the buggy and it completely like busted, but that's okay. So I have to eat it now. Sorry, today. babe. <laughs> and then we got some um, eggs, ricotta cheese, Parmesan. I've never had this brand before. It was on sale, but it looked like it was better than the normal grated Parmesan. We've had that one once before. Have we? I've got, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, some broccoli, peppers, of course some coffee, red wine, sweet potatoes, chicken broth, and I think that is it. So we're gonna put all of this away and then we're gonna start meal prepping for the week. I'm gonna give y'all kind of the rundown of what we're doing here. So I have some hamburger meat and Bunky is just gonna grill me up a couple of hamburger patties. I love to just eat these plain, no cheese, no bun or anything with just some A1. That to me is so good. And you don't have all of the extra calories and carbs from the bun, cheese, and condiments. So he's gonna grill some of those. Okay, and then over here, I just have all of our berries. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put a few of these in a baggie. Um, and that way I just have a mixture of them that I can just add onto my Greek yogurt in the mornings and spring 
sprinkle some granola over top and that way I don't have to think about it, cut it up or anything. It'll be prepared and ready to go and I'll be much more likely to grab that versus having to do all the work. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we have some broccoli and carrots over here. You're gonna eat this raw? Oh yeah, well, I eat it with hummus. With hummus. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna um, cut that up and put these in baggies for Bunk to take to work. He has his celery that he's gonna do as well. And then I have these little non-dippers you guys saw that I got at the grocery store. And I'm actually going to brush these with olive oil and lots of spices. Um, and then we can use these to eat our hummus with. But also, Bunky just had the best idea to use with those. Hmm. Um, um, <laughs> we're gonna try and make a little teeny tiny little slider with that um, whenever I cook the hamburger patties. So Bunky's gonna make a teeny tiny little hamburger patty and then we're gonna keep like two of these and try it as like its own little... Experiment. Yeah, I think it's gonna be taste really good. Are you gonna use them once I put the seasonings on them? Oh yeah, for sure. After after you've done your little magic to them. Okay, oh that's gonna be so good then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have those we're gonna do. And then whenever I was in Trader Joe's this week, I actually saw they had this, um, it was like a pasta salad made with Bowtie pasta and it was called um, Lemon and Basil Pasta Salad and it looked so good, but theirs had shallots in it and you guys know I don't like shallots. So I'm going to try and recreate it just to have on hand for lunch this week. We have our basil plant right there <laughs> that we picked up at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to use some fresh basil, lemon. I'm going to figure out some spices, maybe throw in a little bit of cheese. That sounds so good. So that is all the things we are doing to prep for the week. Are you ready? Ready. So while Bunky's getting the grill turned on, I'm going to go ahead and start boiling the water for my pasta um, since that will probably take a long time. And then while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and start divvying up all of my berries. Small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin Oh, oh what? Should I do them individually or all together? Why are you doing individually? I know there's I didn't, I did not expect these strawberries to fill up this whole entire thing So then he's just going to go ahead and rinse all the berries So we're going to um, dump all of them out That way we try and go through all of them and don't waste any um, And then if there is some that we have left over at the end of the week I'll just go ahead and freeze them for my smoothies Hey you, yes you, I'm talking to you. I just want to tell you how amazing you are. You are absolutely incredible and you are capable of amazing things. It is a new week, a fresh start. So go out into the world, make others smile and crush your goals and dreams. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know it is just my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and season up our hamburger beef while it's in here, and then Bunny can kind of mix it around. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And what do you always say, Bunky? Don't ever overwork your meat. Don't overwork the hamburger meat. <laughs> and then a little bit of pepper. Bunky, I gotta say it. What? This is actually hamburger meat. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> and then some salt, and then some garlic powder. I wanna drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. 
I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make up my little olive oil and spice mixture for our little non-dippers. Um, so I'll just put some olive oil in here and then I'm gonna use just the slightest bit of cayenne pepper. You don't have to use that if you don't like spice, but I want it just a little bit of heat. And then I'm gonna have some sage, some oregano, and then some ground cumin, and of course salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So it's gonna be kind of savory, and then I'm just gonna brush them on top of all of them, and then they'll just have to bake for just a few minutes. What? Is that for our slider? Well, it wasn't at first, but then I was like, well, maybe. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so our little dippers are done, and I did put just a little bit of this blue cheese on these four. I really just did it so that I could, like, eat them right now as a snack, but Bunky said we're going to use them as our buns for our little slider. Okay, so I'm going to pop these in the oven. They'll only take literally, like, maybe three minutes. And they should be about done. Okay, so my pasta is done, but I'm just gonna let it kind of sit in here and drain and cool off because um, I don't want to make my or assemble my pasta salad until this is almost completely cool. So I'm gonna let that hang out in there, and then I think the burgers are just about ready. Where's our little slaughter baby? Right here. Oh, oh man, I kind of just want to eat that right now. <laughs> I cannot wait for those little dippers to be done. We should have made a couple more slatters. Mm -hmm. We ran out of meat though. Okay, so I just pulled our little non breads out of the oven and they look amazing. I did leave them in there for an extra few minutes just because I think with the olive oil they could like cook a lot longer. So I think altogether it was about Mm, five or six minutes and the package had to cook them at 400 and I only put them in there at 375 just because I didn't want them to like burn but oh my gosh I'm like I can't even talk to y'all because my mouth's watering so bad but they look so good and they smell really good I have I think I told you guys I made these one other time and I think we ate like all of these in one sitting they were so delicious so I cannot wait to put our little slider together burgers are done yes ma'am they look good B you can put your slider together Should I do it over here? Yeah, you can. Okay. Just plop that bad boy right down there. Are you gonna put the else on it? You just gonna eat it like that? Oh yeah, no, this is this is good enough, right? What here. if you had caramelized onions? I would love it. Okay, you can have a bite, but then I want a bite. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Let me have a bite. Ooh -wee. Oh my gosh, monkey! How are you eating that? It's stinking hot. I'm doing it for the tube, ma'am. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> hot. Mm-hmm. I had to take my headband off, put my hair up, y'all. I was getting sweaty in this kitchen. What do you think? It's amazing. And that that thing didn't take any time at all to cook. Mm -hmm. This would be so good for like a little party food. Yum. You could easily make those in the oven in five minutes. Cook you up some little sliders, throw some blue cheese or whatever cheese you want on top of the milk. That is a great party food. I totally agree. And you could do like your own little condiments if you wanted to, like teeny tiny little tomatoes or um, caramelized onions or whatever. Like a Roma tomato slice would uh -huh. fit perfectly on that. Just a really thin one. It's so good. Container. Okay, but you have to save some for me. <clears throat> I don't know. If you're lucky, you'll get some. Sweet. You crazy man. Alright y'all, so I've got my little sandwich baggies here. I'm going to go ahead and just start assembling my little berry bags too. But I want to cut my strawberry bee. What, is he, what are you making a, a 
What are you using it for again? You're not your smoothie. No, my uh. They say not one? to cut the strawberry. Well, you can. Really? Because it loses some of the uh, one of the vitamins. I just read that somewhere the other day. Okay, y'all. So I'm not cutting our strawberries. I'll just put it in my baggie, and then I'll cut it whenever I go to do my little granola. Okay, so this is Bunky's bowl that he's taking to work. That's my berry medley. Uh-huh. And then tell us how you eat at work, Bunky. Tell us what you're going to do with these berries. I'm so interested. I, this is how you eat all the time. I just eat them. I'll either eat them by themselves or, I, or I'll put plain Greek yogurt with them for some, some protein. But you don't really have breakfast. The berries are my breakfast. I feel like sometimes you eat them at lunchtime. Or in the afternoon. It's usually my breakfast. Okay, so Bunky has berries for breakfast. Then he has celery and peppers and hummus for lunch. And usually chicken. But I'm going to have a hamburger tomorrow at least. You eat very healthy. Sort of. Then you come home. And then I eat ice cream. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time to assemble my lemon basil pasta salad. So my pasta is completely cooled down now. I just have some fresh lemon, fresh basil, and a little bit of blue cheese left. You guys can kind of make this however you want. Add your own flavors, add your own veggies. You could do like raw red onion. I don't like that, but I think if you did, it would be good in here. And then in this same little bowl that I mixed the um, oil for the little non bites, I'm just going to go ahead and mix up another little concoction of olive oil. So I'm going to do obviously olive oil, and then a few little crushed red pepper flakes, um, some fresh minced garlic, salt and pepper, and I think I'm going to use just a little bit of Parmesan in there as well. So super simple and basic, but I think it's going to be really bright and fresh. So you'll see here in just a second, I actually ended up finding one of those little packets of like Italian seasoning that you would make Italian dressing out of. And I added a little bit in, and I will say that made the biggest difference. It gave it lots of flavor. So if you have that, you could add it in, or even do just like a little squeeze of Italian dressing into your olive oil, um, but it gave it lots of flavor. Okay, so I actually just remembered that I had just a little bit of this like dry Italian seasoning um, salad dressing mix left. So I'm gonna put just a sprinkle of it in my olive oil, give it some more flavor, and then stir that up and dress our pasta. So I think besides the red onion, you could also put artichokes in here, feta cheese, even like some spinach would be really good. I'm just adding a little bit of Parmesan to mine and then I'm going to top it with a little bit more basil and a big squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Y'all, this was so good. Like I honestly cannot wait for lunch every day this week so I can have this. It was so easy, but it's just like very bright and fresh. All right, friends, so we have all of our stuff for the week meal prepped. We are both so excited. This feels so good to just have it done. We have our little pita bites, the pasta salad that is so good, by the way, um, Bunky's hummus, broccoli and celery, extra berries. These are the berries that Bunky's gonna take to work. I have mine in the little baggies for my um, granola and Greek yogurt in the mornings. I have my two hamburger patties, Bunky has his. This is his um, Greek yogurt, carrots, and then his bell peppers. Oh, you don't have your peanut butter. And his peanut butter, yes. <laughs> Got him. Yay, so that is everything. It smells so good. 
everything looks delicious. It's hard to meal prep because we just want to eat as we go and then we're like, oh, we don't even want dinner now. We did eat as we went. Yeah, we've eaten like 10 of these. They were absolutely amazing. Like, Y'all have to try those. But anyways, that is everything that we meal prepped today. All right, friends, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our little grocery haul and got some great meal prep inspiration. Like I said, be sure to leave a comment down below and wish Bunky a very happy birthday. Subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.